<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a PlayStation Vita, a PlayStation TV, or a Vita TV, and it has been modified in some way, how you can spoof your firmware version to get back onto PlayStation Network. Now keep in mind, you are going to need to have a modified Vita of some kind. I'm going to be referring to all the consoles as the Vita from here on out. So you must have it modified. This tutorial is not going to be showing you how to do that, and this is actually a step that I show in my tutorials showing how to modify the Vita. However, I've had this question asked several times, so I'm just making a separate video dedicated to it. It is quite easy to do, but you need a modification of some kind, so whether it be the original Hinkaku exploit with Molecular Shell installed, Trinity, H Encore, or H Encore Squared. I have tutorials covering all of those on my channel, as there are different firmware versions that you might need certain exploits for. So if you're looking for a method of modifying your Vita, you can go ahead and find it on the channel here. However, one important thing to note is this is only for PlayStation Network access. Doing this is not going to allow you to play higher firmware games on your Vita. To do that, you are going to need something such as ReFood, which again, I have another tutorial showing that, which is an excellent plugin, which again, allows you to play higher firmware games on lower firmware Vitas. So first of all, let's take a look at our Vita right here. I can just go into the system settings, and this is one that I just set up, but down here, I'm going to show you all in system information. This Vita is on firmware 3.60, which is quite a old firmware. However, I want to keep it on this firmware and also use my PlayStation Network access and get this all set up. So the first thing you'll need to do once you have your system modified is going to be down here. You can just load up whatever modification method you have. I don't have Enzo on this yet, so I'm just going to be launching it this way. But whether you have Trendy, H Encore, H Encore Squared, or if you're using this method, you're just going to have to load up your primary method of getting your system running for homebrew. Now, once that is done, you can go up to your settings, and up here at the top should be Hinkaku settings. Go into Hinkaku settings, make sure enable PSN spoofing is enabled, enable version spoofing is enabled, and here you want to change your spoofed version. And you want to change this value to the latest firmware version. If you do not know what the latest firmware version is, I can show you real quick as well. Down below in the description, in case you want to double check this, you can go to the link that I'll have for the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV system software update page. This is directly from Sony and it will show you the latest version. And at the time of recording, my latest version available to get online and for the Vita itself is version 3.72. So to show it in action, first of all, we can try out the PlayStation Store. I do not have any spoofing on this yet, or my spoofing is for a older version, but as you can see here, I'm getting the prompt to update system software. So you want to press cancel, you don't ever want to accept that. And we can cancel out of that for now. Now what we can do, since we know it is 3.72, is go over to system settings, Hinkaku settings, spoofed version, and change this to the latest version. And the nice thing is with the way spoofing is set up on here, you don't need to use any additional applications and this just stays the same. So you don't have to do anything else. So even if 3.73 or 3.8 or 3.9 comes out, you just change the value in here. That's all you need to do. So once you have that done, go back, and you can even just double check and make sure that it's saved. But go back, go down here, and select Reboot Device to reboot your Vita. Now it is important that you reboot your Vita or else that change is not going to take. But what you can do once you reboot is in case you are not using Enzo, make sure you use whatever method that you picked to launch your system into an ability to load homebrew and such. So I'll just wait for this to finish up. And once this is done here, it'll exit out. We can go back over to our system settings here, and I'll just show you everything here. So if we go down, if you go to system and system information, as you can see, I'm on 3.60 Hinkaku, but if I go all the way up to Hinkaku settings, PSN spoofing, version spoofing are enabled, and my spoofed version is 3.72. And the last thing we can do is go to the PlayStation Store, 
and make sure that this works. So as you can see after a couple load screens, we're now able to get in here just fine. So again, that is literally all you need to do. It is as simple as that. You can access all of this just as easy as before. So if you are prompted for a firmware update, do not ever update unless you want to lose your ability to run homebrew and all that stuff and have a modified Vita. The only thing you need to do, you just need to make that change in Henkaku settings. Once you make that change to the latest firmware version and reboot your system, you should be good to go. Anyways, that is about it for this tutorial. Hopefully this short tutorial answered your questions and helped out. This again should work for all firmware versions once you have your system modified. So again, just really stressing that. Even if the latest version is not 3.72 at the time you see this video, you can just find the latest version number, put it in there, restart, and you are good to go. But anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.